day two, and we're still not in Tainan yet. We're in Kaohsiung City still, and the mission today is to do a little something something here. Probably get some grub, hungry, and move to the land, the South Land. Super rainy day today, so we're hanging out in the dream mall. It's a bubble tea. And whatever this is. Coo nuts. I'm gonna open. Unboxing video, and it's a. No, don't be a meow. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's a meow. The one thing I didn't want. All right, what you, you get? What did you get? Oh my gosh. Okay. What's the one thing you wanted? Snorlax? That's what's in Well, anything, mine, mine was like anything but meow. Oh, that's the one I wanted. That's what The universe works in weird ways. I mean, check out this uh, meow. They can like knock it down. Like that's what I'm gonna do all the time. Yeah, look at them, they're, they're battling. Meow, if you scratch. Useless, usual. Uh, let me try this new food right here. What up, Dream Mall? <laughs> All right, now we're finally leaving this rainy place to another rainy place. There's glutinous rice intestine pork sausage. I kind of want to try that, but yeah, it's been a fun time here in uh, Kaohsiung City, and we could have rented scooters. We could have these bad boys. Yep, could have been us, but. We'll wait for another day, maybe tomorrow. That'd be fun. Tomorrow? Scooters, maybe? Yeah? Scooters. Scooters tomorrow? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, one of my friends told me that they are booked on the weekend, so we're going to try for this. Just to, just to do it. Why not? Why not? Why not? We are finally on the train to Tainan. I love how everything is my size. All right, we made it to Tainan and it's raining a lot. So we're gonna take a taxi there. Uh, it was a huge queue for taxis, but we'll make it. Yes, I said queue. I'm cultured like that. So, you know, next mission, Airbnb. <laughs> Let's go. Stop your boy, Mega Cisco, check it out. Mega Cisco Cribs, bam. Let's go check it out. So we're in somewhere in Tainan City. Probably gonna flash you the address if you stop me, but you know, don't forget that right here. But welcome to the crib. Here we go. Of course, in all Asian households, gotta take off your shoes. Let's step. Take off your shoes. Because that's the right thing to do. All right. Lock in, pop, lock, and drop it. Because that's how we do. All right, so we got this uh, wonderful, probably not to sit on, but it looks really cool. It's colorful, it's like rainbows. Like sometimes in game. Or friendships, rainbows. Uh, let's go. We got lights. Welcome to the kitchen where washing your hands happens and anti mosquito thingamajiggy with a cute little like turf grass. You want to like practice your putting. You know, you got your little person on. Boom, you got that. You're like, pop. This is our fridge. They called it an ice box. So maybe that's the way they like, you know, translate literally refrigerator, ice box. Well, I could be just completely, literally wrong. Uh, this is our water heater. Gotta, you know, we got water boiler, water heater. Gotta keep it hot, even though it's kind of hot here, I'm sweating already, boom. And of course, this is where the magic happens. You know what I'm saying? We got some lights, disco lights and uh, alcohol that's stuck in there. So probably not gonna drink that. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do. But we got air conditioning somewhere up there. And let me take you to pasture. You don't understand. I'm not joking about this, but very small space, four cups. Uh, it says moon, moon. It's in English, moon. I don't know what that means, but it's probably something meaningful. It's like moon, 
You can't spell meaning without moon. Check that. For real. All right, so <laughs> this is the probably most unsafe staircase I've ever been on. It's going up at a 75 degree angle, 75 degrees, and <laughs> it's so cramped. Um, definitely Asian sized, but if you come on up here <clears throat> safely, you'll see that it's civilized. We have <clears throat> an air conditioner, a bed for slumber, books to keep you legit, you know, because you gotta, gotta keep your mind right, and the most important piece of the puzzle right here, the world is a book, and those who do not travel only read one page. Open your books, guys, start writing. Get to reading, get to your Barnes & Noble of life. Get your pages, y'all. It's Mega Cisco, I'm out. Thank you, Nicole, for being on camera. Cribs. <laughs> is that ridiculous enough? Oh yeah, don't forget about the cows. I, I told you about pastures. Okay, he's walking around Tainan now and we've got to get the uh, milk tea number three. Three. So we're here again with our milk teas and we're in kind of a sleepy residential area, but there's a temple here and, well, the screen is recording, but we're going to head over this way toward the park, which has lots of pokey stops over there and a raid that's going to end soon. All right, probably going to wrap up the night. Uh, what we're going to do is just pretty much trade Pokemon until we have enough storage space for tomorrow. Ideally, we're trying to get down to 13 something. Like 13.99 would be great. That's like ideally great. But maybe we won't hit that, but I want to because I want to have space to bring stuff home. But the highlight so far, other than walking around the night markets and walking around the park, getting almost every stop systematically, wiping it clean, was this awesome lucky trade here, little chimchar, that it's a wonder. Even I know what that means. <laughs> and I'm a mystic. But yeah, thank you, Nicole, for the for that. Yeah, she's so happy about it. Like, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It's a Lolan too. So uh, right now we're waiting for Joey. Joey. Who happens to have the most gold gems in the world? Is that I think so. I haven't talked to him about it. Okay, alright. So, uh, that's, you know, that most trainers are proud of his stat. I think that's his stat to be proud of. Mine is uh, how many Magikarp I've caught and how many uh, distances I've um, put my foot on. <laughs> I can't think. I had a lot of milk tea <laughs> and it's been a good night. little thingies that was in the last video so I'm gonna try to open this bad boy um, how do you do that there's a thing I'm trying to do this one-handed and so oh snap it's Gengar what up it's Gengar check it out wait there's a switch on the back of this butt you push it I don't know. whatever you can pull it I'm not gonna be butt pulling Oh, I pulled something out. Uh, so I guess that's how that goes. Um. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's so cool. All right. Oh, about Japan. All right. That's, um, and I got this other capsule from the last video. Mm, it's so much harder to do with one hand. Yes! It's... It's an Umbreon! What up? Umbreon in Japanese is called Blacky. Buraki. Because of that, it's... I like it that much more. 
Me and Blackie. Good thing they name it something else. Of like if they have like a lighter shaded evolution like that. But uh, today was super cool. We got to walk around the park. Got a new dude who has 400 something gold gems. I don't know how. I'm gonna probably poke his brain. And walked around a lot. I felt like 20,000 steps was a thing walking around the park. But but the biggest thing is I'm trying. I'm at 14, 20 spaces in storage. So I'm trying to get down to something in the 1300s. That'd be my goal for the night. But t tomorrow is the event, and I'm gonna do my best to get some relicant back home. So you guys have a good night. I'm tired, but always you be excellent and see you next Trantar. Deuces. Negasus go out. Good night. P.S. I just want to say a big shout out to the Instinct fam and friends that you know made this possible. I just want to be like, I wish I could like, I wish you guys were here. It's so much fun. Like the food is so delicious and man it would be so cool if we could just go on an adventure but um for now th this will do but wish you guys were here for real <laughs> what up anchorage alaska what up